Okay, so today is Monday and I have some steak that I just fried up in a pan with seasoning, mashed potatoes, and then some bread. And then I'm also using these green tomato salad. And that's what we're having for dinner. I'm also gonna make some pork schnitzel and I'll show you guys when I do that. This is my husband's plate. He's gonna start eating and then I'll get to the other stuff. So here is the schnitzel and I'm just cutting it up for the kids with the mashed potatoes and then my mom's cake. I am keeping some in the fridge and then the rest we are going to put in Ziploc bags, which I already did, it's not focusing, and putting it in the freezer. So this is my setup for the schnitzel. I just have a basic egg wash with some of these Italian style breadcrumbs or panko or whatever you have. I did pound that meat down and I salt, peppered it, and garlic powder. And as you can tell, we have little hands who, as soon as they're coming out, they're just grabbing them. Is it good looking? Yeah. And so we have a couple layers and I still have quite a few more to go. So I usually put three pieces in this pan and then I dump the oil out after this and then I'll put more oil. So I change the oil between every three pieces. So I'm just finishing up the schnitzel and I pulled these out of my freezer. They've been in there for a while. They have some freezer burn. I'm going to roast them in my air fryer. I'm going to throw them in my crock pot and make bone broth. And I'm actually going to probably do two batches of bone broth from these four bones. They are marrow bones. And yeah, they just need to be turned into bone broth. And since I don't have that much bone broth in the freezer right now, I figure this is the perfect time. It is supposed to be pouring down rain for the next week straight. So I figured this is a good time to have the crock pot going. Uh, making the house smell good and heating up the house at the same time. So that's what I'm gonna get started tonight. Okay, so this is my take on my potato salad. It's a Romanian style potato salad. Uh, I had that chicken breast from our rotisserie chicken from Costco that I used part of it and then the rest I froze because I couldn't use it all. And then I boiled some carrots. I have some peas that were just frozen. I thawed them out, some boiled eggs because of course we have boiled eggs, it was Easter <laughs> and uh, we usually do anyway and then what else do i have in there i have some red relish i have some sweet relish i have some uh, mustard salt pepper garlic powder and then i have these uh three potatoes that i just boiled they're gonna cool off and i'm gonna put those in there and then mayo really really simple oh and i have two squeezes of mustard in there as well so super simple salad it's gonna be delicious it's uh one of our favorites so i figured let me get that done tonight as well and it's 5.38 right now, and I'm just finishing up. The dishwasher is going, I'm gonna clean up, put everything away, and I'm excited because we have leftovers. All right, so it is Tuesday, and we made tortellini soup, and then we also made macaroni and cheese, and we're having leftover steak because the schnitzel and the mashed potatoes are all gone. And I did use some of that bone broth that I made in the crock pot, and I have another batch going, but this is what we have for dinner. So it is still Tuesday night, and I wanted to show you guys, I grabbed a few things from my freezer. I grabbed this Mississippi chicken that I had prepared. Everything is in it. I just have to put it in the crock pot tomorrow, and this is going to be mostly for my husband to take to work the next day, and then, you know, people can eat on it as well. And then I grabbed this... Um, ground beef. I'm going to make a homemade lasagna. I did go to Dollar Tree today as well and I did get some more of those oven ready pasta noodles, the lasagna noodles. You don't have to bake them. You don't have to boil them. You can just put them in and bake them and they're ready to go. So we're going to make a homemade lasagna tomorrow, which I'm super excited about and the Mississippi Rose. All right, so I am making my lasagna meat sauce and it's basically the same thing as I how I make my spaghetti sauce, but I just had I sauteed a big onion, a can of chopped up mushrooms because I didn't have any fresh. And then uh, I let those saute with a little bit of salt, pepper, and then I added two huge minced uh, garlic cloves and the meat. And then I'm gonna use probably two of these Prego's uh, marinara sauce and then a little bit of uh, half and half just to give it some creaminess. And then I'm just gonna start layering my lasagna with the meat sauce with the pasta, with cheese. And I am using, uh, instead of ricotta cheese, I am using cottage cheese because it's uh, more budget friendly and my family likes it that way. And I have shredded mozzarella that I got on sale last week. And so it's gonna be a very inexpensive 
delicious meal. Okay, I wanted to show you guys. I have fresh spinach, so I chopped it, roughly chopped it up, and I'm putting that in the sauce. I put it in the sauce, and I'm gonna let that kind of wither down a little bit, and that's just gonna give us a little bit of greens and our our lasagna, and we love spinach. And I'll show you guys. These are the no boil uh, required lasagna noodles. They're oven ready. Uh, that I get from Dollar Tree. They used to be a dollar, now they're a dollar twenty-five. And then I always put a little bit of the sauce on the bottom, and that is just cottage cheese with one egg, and then my mozzarella, and I'll put some of this uh, cheese, Parmesan cheese, and there's my sauce. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get one lasagna or maybe one and a half, like a smaller one. I only used one of the jars of the Pregos, so of the sauces, we'll see. Maybe we can stretch it out and make like one big pan and then maybe a little pan. Okay, so we'll this is what it looks like. I got one pan. I just made it a little more meaty. There was some sauce left over, but not enough for another lasagna. And then I did end up using one whole box of the noodles. There was like two sheets that were left over, but I just tucked them in there and kind of shoved them in because I always find that if I put them in this box, in the pantry, it just takes up so much room for two little sheets of lasagna and then they always break up and I end up tossing them anyway. So this way we'll just have some extra noodles in there and I'm gonna cover this with foil. I'm gonna put it in a 400 degree oven till, I wish I could tell you guys how long, um, just till I think it's done. <laughs> at least 15 minutes, at least, maybe 20. Um, I'll kind of look at the clock and see. And then I'll uncover it at the last uh, couple minutes and just let the cheese just melt over. And it's gonna be really delicious. You guys, this really takes no time at all. If you're making your spaghetti sauce, it's, I think, maybe even faster than putting a spaghetti together because you just layer it. It took me maybe not even five minutes to layer it, just a few minutes. So uh, you don't have to be scared about making your own lasagna. Uh, if you have these noodles and you don't have to pre-boil them, it just makes it super fast and super easy and super convenient. And you can see it's pretty deep. It's homemade, it's delicious, and it's inexpensive. And there goes my oven. It's ready for this thing. Right, so one more thing I'm going to pop in the oven since the oven's going with the lasagna is some garlic toast. I have this bread that we got at Costco. I melted a stick of butter and I put some Italian seasoning and some garlic powder. I still have some of that butter left over because I didn't need it. Uh, for just these slices, so I might make up a few more. Um, I've made garlic toast in the air fryer so many times and it's super easy, but since my oven's going, I might as well just stick this on the bottom rack and we'll have garlic toast, which my kids will definitely enjoy. Can you guys hear that? It's bubbling. I just took it out of the oven. Towards the end, I took the foil off and just let the cheese kind of melt on top. And then here's the garlic bread, all nice and crispy and super easy to make and I know my kids are going to be super happy Mississippi chicken this was a freezer meal that I took out last night it's done and um I mainly took it out so my husband can have some food for tomorrow for work but there you know people can eat on it because there's plenty to go around um he's not going to take the whole thing so um yeah that's what we also have going on. My house smells so good, you guys. Between the garlic bread lasagna and the Mississippi chicken, it is smelling good and nice and cozy comfort food. It's pouring down rain outside, and this is just going to hit the spot. See you guys, guys it is still Wednesday night. I wanted to show you guys my bone broth. This is my second batch. So if you guys remember earlier in the week on Monday, I started making out of bone marrow's um, bone broth. So what I did is I used... A lot of that bone broth for my tortellini soup but then I still got like two big jars that I put in my freezer and then I discarded everything except the bones washed the crock pot out well I rinsed it off and then I started with new uh, with fresh veggies again and I started another batch the only thing that I reused was the, bo the bones and then I got five more jars that are going into the freezer so homemade bone broth I put minced ginger I put all kinds of really good immune boosting things in there. So I'm super excited. And as you can tell, I don't fill the jars all the way to the top. I leave a little bit of the room. So if they expand, they don't explode. And I'm gonna pop these into my freezer. These are just upcycled jars and we have homemade bone broth. It is Thursday and we've been eating leftovers. 
some of the kids had leftover lasagna. We had some leftover Mississippi roast, but I decided to do three boxes of macaroni and cheese just to kind of fill in the gaps. Um, the little ones have been in a macaroni and cheese kick, so this is going to be part of their dinner. Good See morning, you guys tomorrow. everyone. It is Friday morning, and I'm about to head off going to do some grocery shopping. I want to show you guys, I have these beautiful uh, beef, all organic, grass-fed, never antibiotics, nothing like that, bones with a little bit of meat. So I roasted them in my air fryer and I'm going to be doing more bone broth. I have two crock pots going. I have two more bones that I have to roast and I'm going to be doing at least two or three batches out of these bones. Here is my other crock pot. I'm just getting it ready. I still have to put like the onion and the carrots and stuff and the bones and I'm super excited. I have some chicken wings thawing out. We'll probably do those for dinner with some rice and stuff, but I have like three huge bags of these in my freezer and they take up a lot of room and I don't see any reason why I shouldn't have bone broth ready to go and then I can replace that space that these bones were taking up in my freezer with other cuts of meat that um, are, you know, maybe chicken or something like that. So I'm getting this ready. I'm gonna go grocery shopping and then I'll bring you back bring you guys Let back. Let me kind of show you guys what I um put in my bone broth to give it all the health benefits and all the delicious yummy things that make it a delicious bone broth. I have water in here and then I have two cloves of garlic with skin on. I just uh, cut them in half. Uh two stalks of celery seeds, one big carrot because this is my small crock pot, and the other one I have two big carrots. A couple bay leaves, some parsley, some peppercorn, salt, onion, and then I also have a ginger paste that I threw in there, about two teaspoons, if not more. And then I put, this time I put turmeric and pepper. It's going to give it, you know, turmeric is so healthy for you, anti-inflammatory, but it's also going to give it that beautiful color. I don't always add the turmeric, but I figured in these two batches, I definitely want it. And you can see the turmeric already. And then you always want to put pepper with turmeric just to kind of activate it and to make it a little bit better is what I hear. And then my bones are right now going in the air fryer and they are roasting up and I'm just going to put my bones, put the lid on. And I actually leave it on high for about 20 hours. I've left it um, as long as 48 hours on low, but I just do it on high for 20 hours. And I find that that makes the best consistency. And that's how, because every crock pot is different, how it heats up. And for my two crock pot, that works really great. So super excited to get these going. It's sunny outside. It's not raining, but oh well. Uh, bone broth is going. Anybody's wondering, this is the minced ginger that I use. And it's like a paste. And I've had this for a really long time in my fridge. I just stored it in my fridge. I got this at Grocery Outlet. I'm assuming that any like health food store would have it maybe even in your local supermarket, but Grocery Howla had it, and yeah, I use it in a lot of different Okay, dishes. so this is Friday night's dinner. I have two of those mushrooms that I just bought from Kroger. I sauteed them with some onions, salt, pepper, and then I took them out and I did a batch of those beans, those green beans, the French green beans, same thing. I'm gonna have more over here. I'm steaming them a little bit, and then I'm gonna saute them in a little bit of olive oil, and then at the end, I'm putting all this minced garlic I'm gonna mix everything together. I just had to do it in batches because I have no room. And my little ones requested mac and cheese yet again. They actually requested it for breakfast this morning and I said, uh, no. <laughs> so they said, make sure we have someone uh, ready to go when we come home. So I promised them that, so they'll have that. And then I have wings going in the air fryer. So we'll have wings with macaroni and cheese, mushrooms and green beans. And it's gonna be so delicious. This is the water for the mac and cheese. I'm doing three boxes. It smells so heavenly with the sauteed deliciousness. They still have a little bit of a crunch to them. I don't like them like super soggy. So very here's good. dinner, macaroni and cheese, the sauteed veggies, the chicken wing, and some hot sauce. This looks and smells delicious. You guys So I wanna show you guys, I got these bell peppers on clearance from Kroger earlier this week and I cut some up and I'm gonna be putting them in the freezer. I do have, I think, four more or six more in the other fridge and those we will be using for our huge stir fry cookout tomorrow that we plan on doing. But these are great. I tried to get the air out. It looks like there's still quite a bit of air in this. I'm gonna try to suck some more out and then just pop them in the freezer and they're gonna be, they're not blanched or anything, just washed and cut up. So we're at Cash and Carry. Hi, babe. 
uh, which is called Chef Store now. And I want to show you guys this is how we get our potatoes. Let me come around here. These are 50 pounds, and they were advertised at 14 something, but I'm not sure if the deal ended. But they are $23, which is still not bad because I just paid. Um, this one's kind of bad. Uh, I just paid for 10 pounds for russet potatoes, not even the Yukon Gold ones. I paid $4, so better deal to get in bulk. And we're getting noodles in bulk. We'll show you guys what we make today for lunch and dinner. This is the store, if you've ever wondered. You can buy for restaurants and businesses, everything in bulk. Let me bring you guys in the meat section. These are the prices. That's not bad if you buy in bulk. Look at the bacon, you guys. Five pounds for 30, 45, and it's on sale for 26 for five pounds. Wow, insanity for sure. Not everything that's here is a good price, but again, just like any store, you want to shop the deals and what's on sale. Look at all these different sausages hot dogs and such very nice okay, so it is saturday and i started on my crepes i decided to make some crepes and we love to drizzle it with this and it is so delicious and let me show you what we're making here for we dinner. have chicken breast that we actually ended up buying from grocery outlet today because i don't have any more boneless skinless chicken thighs or chicken breast in my freezer so my husband cut that up. I put salt, pepper, and garlic and powder. Here we have a huge bowl of the peppers that we got reduced. I sliced some of those up. You guys saw last night. I put them in the freezer. I had six that were still left. And under here, I have portobello mushrooms, uh, garlic, green onions, and parsley. That gets thrown. We're doing a stir fry on our disc. That gets thrown at the end. I have a cabbage and about five or six huge onions in there. And then over here, we have the noodles that we're going to be putting in there and then we have some teriyaki sauce it's going to be here's so a sweet. little setup we have all the goodies we are cooking this asian stir fry in batches on our little cooking disc there's the kids playing we have beautiful weather outside we are in shorts enjoying this nice weather and so this was a must and remember i got the peppers on clearance the mushrooms on clearance and these were just under seven dollars so this was this has been in my fridge so i wanted to use this up so we'll use that teriyaki first and then we will use some of that <laughs> so this is what the final product kind of looks like we added some of the teriyaki sauce just a little bit at a time if we need to we can add more and it's going to be delicious and like i said we're going to be eating on this for Sunday, dinner and we are having leftover chinese so delicious i hope you guys enjoyed this video we will see you guys next week